Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are in Pro Cycling Manager 2017 with our third season rider Dicky Mick Speck, the best currywurst eater in the world from Bavaria, of course. Uh, although he's he's a heretic because uh, you you ought to eat all the Weisswurst. That is not the case here. Um, but he is really good at sprinting up the mountains uh, despite his blueberry shaped um, pristine body. And we are in the middle of the GP Alpe Vasco. Yeah, ex exactly, exactly that. No one <laughs> would even understand me uh, in in that language if if I said that. But uh, eh, that's that's not why we're here. We're here to win. And Dicky Mechspeck just came off a amazing victory. We fooled them. We pulled through, and we raced down the the mountain like a madman or like a rolling rock that is difficult to stop. Um, and uh, yes, today we continue the trend and hopefully can potentially make something happen here. But this stage really looks like more something you would you would say that if you don't lose time, then it's good. So um, the, the main goal is to stay with the front group. We do have a bias of zero today. Unfortunately, our preparation has worn out and uh, yeah our fitness peak as well of course but yeah okay well this this profile doesn't look all that flat anymore in this view there's some sharp hills in here that would be interesting oh shit oh shit oh shit no not today no, okay, better than tomorrow, but uh, still, not today. Uh, he, and the announcer said the conditions are dreadful. Well, that's interesting. Uh, that potentially means lots of rain. And whoa, whoa. Okay, no, this final hill is actually pretty impressive, uh, especially the first bit. That will be. Yeah, it won't be all that easy today with the minus two to hang on. I hope we have some protection lined up for us wow protection that can't ride up hills how useful and can he actually protect me yes he can okay good the problem today is basically the stamina on this stage um so yeah we do need to remain protected at all at all times ah, okay at least it looks pretty good from a breakaway point of view. It's just three riders up front. That means uh, we don't have to chase quite as hard in order to get them back. That's very nice. And now the rain starts. And on. there comes He's the first four. <laughs> ouch. Ouch. Like ouch. I hope we get through without like a fall today. Like oh, no, 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 no. Mixed back. Oh, whew. There we have the first four. Ouch. Ouch. That was really close to make spec there. Whoa. Okay, now we, we need to stay with them. Come on, grab. Grab the rear wheels. Yes, we need to stay with the first group. Now don't, don't move too hard. Don't move too hard. They will be back. Okay. Do we have support here? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, we are protected once again. Not being involved in this fall did save us some uh, stamina overall, which is good to know. But still, that doesn't give us much much advantage over the competition, considering our minus two. The stamina rating we have today is pretty abysmal, and especially also the resistance rating. 72 for a stage like this, and a pretty long final climb like this. Uh, as a reminder, the steepy one here. Wow. Ouchies. It's not, not that long, but very steep. Now we come into the second category climb, also pretty steep. But we're not going entirely crazy here, it seems. Wow. They're really riding hard up here. Ooh, Mechspec. Stay with them. Stay with them. Yes, yes, yes. Stay with them. Come, come back to them. But they're... Uh, they're Come on! Oh, that was close once again. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I... Uh, uh, can I catch them finally? Can't be that difficult. Oh, shit. No, Max back. No. Oh, they're all over the road. Oh, fuck. Come on, get up. Get up, get up. Get up. Okay, we're all chasing like crazy. And can they connect? No, the not quite. Not quite. Maybe in the next one. Oh, they, they move further away even. But we're moving super hard, so it can't be that. Uh, come on, connect already. Yes. Uh, at 80, make sure I cannot connect to them. <laughs> like, ride! <laughs> ride already! Oh no! Oh, he. Max Peck! What's going on for fuck's sake? Ride! Look at them! What the fuck? He can't go faster in an attack than what they are doing just hanging on to someone else. Alright, this is, this is crazy town. What the fuck is going on there? Alright, now with this attack, Max Speck will almost be back. Almost. Okay, now. Move up to the front. Fucking hell. What a day. But this is the peloton. Okay, good. Good. So this this is if we stay with them, then we are good. Now we need to recuperate. Oh what is going on? A group of riders has They're like proper, trying to attack from here or something. I don't think we are going to survive this final climb. I really don't think so. They are they are going completely insane on this <laughs> on this race. They're moving so hard. Oh my. And I do actually need a water bottle. Um, dangerous, I know, but better now than in the climb. Okay, we got it. And now it starts. And we can't follow the anymore. Already. The they are attacking. No, I, I will not. Today is not the day of Mechspec. <laughs> really, it isn't. Um, this is not enough resistance to get up here, of course. Um, oh, no, not a chance. And we can trigger our spec bar just to try. And limiting it at 80 basically means that we try our best to not waste too much energy. Maybe we can stay with them at 75 or something if they slow down enough. Oh, maybe? Come on, spec bar, trigger. Trigger make spec bar. Come on. Yes, okay. So spec bar is triggered. That's good. I hope if the bar lasts, then we have a chance because that's such a long downhill afterwards. We might be able to stay with them. But it's still 700 meters, and I think they are going on the attack now. Now, just some of them. Spec bar is out. You need to accelerate a little. Stay with them, Spec. Stay with them. Yes, okay. We did it. We made it over the mountain. Okay, now, hang in there. Just, just follow along. What the fuck are you doing, Mechspec? Come on! Uh, what is broken here? Okay, I, I'm just manually riding to the front, and now hook in here, because that was stupid what you were doing there. Just Can trailing so the far that you lose contact with them, inevitably. Uh, do we get back enough resistance? Maybe. Probably. Yes, I would think so. Yeah, yeah, that should be enough. Okay, that should be enough. Just to follow along. What the fuck is Mechspec? I, I don't get it, guys. This time what is happening here? I'm not pressing any buttons. He's just moving out of the way. Go into the fucking the field, mate. It's like, no, do, do you want to have slipstream, expect? Nah. Slipstream is for cheaters. <laughs> that would be terrible. Uh, I don't need no slipstream. I'm Dickie Max Speck. 
Okay, the sprint is on. We can't follow so far. We are in a good position, but now... What the? Come on, accelerate. You can accelerate, right? Come on, Max back. Just go. Ah, oh, six. Okay, that's not too, too terrible. After this day, sixth place is amazing. <laughs> Okay, well done, Max Speck. But that was that was a cunt hair away from utter defeat. There we have it, sixth place. What a carousel of emotions this stage was, and we are second overall in uh, the points jersey. Well, that's great. Uh, mountain jersey, not really our thing. Overall in the young riders jersey, yes, we are leading easily. Three and a half minutes. Oh, uh, three minutes fifty even, and. Then we have team rating, oh, <laughs> just half an hour behind, <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. And all good, overall standings exceptional, plus 18 points, we are getting pretty close, just 108 points left for the level up. Oh wow, yeah this one is rough, <laughs> this one is really rough, ouch. <laughs> oh shit, I just noticed something. Team Sky now has Valverde, Froome and Contador. <laughs> and they are all, all riding here against Max Speck. Oh, okay, come on Max Speck. No negative today, please. And we have a plus one. Yes, yes, a plus one. Okay, 84 mountain, 81 hill. And good stamina, good resistance, that's the most important thing today. Resistance 77 is pretty decent. And... Uh, what? Okay... This one is special. Wow. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, I don't even know how, how this is supposed to work. Um... It's not long at all, it's like two kilometers of slope or something, but uh, ah, three maybe. But wow, that steepness. Oh, there are just 141 riders left. Yesterday's stage, I think, has killed about 10 or so. <laughs> um, they, they are moving a little hard. A little, a little hard. Why are they moving so extremely hard? Let's amp this up to like 70. Uh, to not fall back too quickly, but uh, this is this is going insane. Attack! Oh, some attacks are going because it's a second category climb and it's in reach. I think that's why they were moving so hard. Okay, first category climb. This one is rough, but at least it has a mm, yeah very predictable slope. It's not extreme, and these climbs have a tendency to not rip if they are so even. While these ones, which are um, a little bit more like on and off, like the final one, have the tendency to do so because of the, um, the crests, which um, cause large speed differentials for riders that still have something in them versus riders that don't. About halfway, and it looks like the escapees still have four minutes on the clock. Well, lots of hills left. Three hills and the final climb. And in the final climb alone, they will lose like two or three minutes, maybe. And the next climb. Oh, don't ride backwards. Yeah. Uh, are, are they attacking? No, they aren't. Good. Uh, at 70, it seems to be a very good pace. That's uh, a good pace to not lose too much stamina, too. Uh, the stamina the is the green bar. Some riders definitely won't be able to keep up. Like, for those who wonder... Um, why I'm limiting it to 70 and go into the limiter mode here is because um, the it is not linear how much uh, how much energy you use for for riding. The harder you ride, the uh, more you lose uh, resistance and stamina. So if I go into the limiter mode like this with the blinking number, I'm falling back slightly or just holding my uh, holding place or yo-yoing back and forth a little bit. But that means that I overall will have lost less energy than those who have gone with that general movement. So uh, that is why I'm doing that. And now I see uh, this is getting a little thin here. So I actually need to accelerate in order to stay with them. Go, 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 Max Beck. You see that? Whoa, that would have ripped. Come on, Max Beck. You can hold on to them. 
You see? <laughs> oh, oh, that was, that was, that was pretty good. For once, I paid attention. Uh, now let's just quickly check who's actually in front, uh, because this distance is rather significant. Oh wow, 78 in hill, and 76 in stamina. Really good on the flat too. This is a proper classics rider, it seems. We caught two of the poor little escapees. Will they actually hold on? For a short time, yes. Uh, that is, <laughs> is brutal when they come at you with t like twice the, the speed. Are entering the last 15 kilometers of the stage. All right, we are across the top and now into the valley. Uh, we can probably recuperate all our resistance on the way down. Yeah, that's still looking good. We still have plenty of um, green bar, so good riding today. But oh, this final climb—it's so hard to gauge when it's black. Um, so hard to gauge how much how much uh, resistance you're actually using. It like instantly disappears. But also, you can't really hide from this uh, slope because it's so steep. And that means that you will lose resistance regardless. So I think what I'm going to do is just wait it out, basically. Try to do it via sheer strength. And then maybe if we have something left in us uh, for the final step, which is also that super steep, that would be enough to uh, create massive gaps. So yeah, let's, let's go with that. And we're starting to move into the climb now. Uh, maybe I should just try to get out of here and into a better position for... Whoa. For the climb. Accelerate into it. That certainly was a good there acceleration. Five kilometers left. 85 might be a little harsh. Uh, because that is... Uh, how long is this? There's probably two kilometers flat on top. So that would be... Oh, we have the wrong rider selected. Uh, Mechspec has five kilometers left. I would guess it is, yeah, then it's probably, it's 4.8 kilometers till the finish for the ride up in front. Mm, uh, three kilometers of climbing, maybe, at 80 we can try, but this is a, a good place to be in, all the way to the front, especially considering that the road is so small. No, we are not going to waste any kind of time just for our position. And now the road starts rising like crazy. Oh, can they actually follow? Can I tell him to just try to hang in there and go? That will create a gap. And there is the gap. There is the gap. Uh, but I don't want to attack because that might be a little too draining. I was four... It's just four kilometers, but it's so filthy steep. This is 16%. So let's just go at 90 and that try to like create a, really a little bit of a gap. Fall. It's a shame, but he's not going any further. This supposedly is 15 seconds. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. And let's trigger the spec bar so that we have it for the second step. Oh, uh, now they're supposedly uh, with me again. That's bad. Uh, can we accelerate a bit more? Now I didn't want to overdo it, right? So let's just continue going at like 95. Or 90, for that matter. How much longer do we have? Uh, it's not, uh, not, not too, too crazy. Not too crazy. Oh, well, guys up front Dan Martin is, is with me. Today. Maybe I can slow down a little bit more. 85. Let him overtake me. And now just set to follow him. Yes, follow him at like 90. And now we have the spec bar and we're even recuperating slight amounts of... Oh, this is awesome. Now we have... Oh shit, he's going at it. Come on, make spec, follow, follow, follow. Yes, 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 you can Our just barely hang in there. Let's hope he has out quickly. And we have someone to pull us, that's awesome. Thanks, Dan Martin. You're my best friend, my new best friend, my little pony. Oh, oh, Chris Froome is coming. Chris Froome is coming, and uh, they are still riding super hard. 
So I, I hang in here. I hang in here. That's all good. And this is the final kilometer, so I start the sprint. Come on! It's going to be Come on, Max Back! Come on! No, 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 no. Fuck! Second! Ah, uh, Dan Martin was too strong! I think we could have moved slightly quicker on our getaway there to start because we have resistance bar left. But like I said, it's so hard to gauge for me. Uh, this is a one off type of finish here. And here are the key moments of the race. Whoa, the sprinters are coming! <laughs> nice, nicely done. What does this mean for the final standings? Uh, I think it means pain for uh, the final stage. And we got, on some of the good, really good riders, we got plenty of time. That's, that's good news. But, oh no. And Dan Martin, oh no, Dan Martin is actually pretty shit at time trial, so... He won't be able to catch up, uh, c catch up, <laughs> he is catch up, and he won't be able to catch us in the time trial, unless we are having a really bad day. Uh, Chris Froome is very different though, he is pretty good at time trialing. Ah, there we have it, second, very good, very good, exceptional, very good, uh, exceptional, exceptional, very, very good. Uh, and in the time trial, the sprinters won't have a chance either. So let's have a... No, not a look at this. Um, but rather have a look at this. And yeah, that, that looks like a pretty steep hill, actually. Oh, no. Tom Dumoulin, where, where is he in the general standings, though? Briefing. Uh, does it tell us? Uh, let's see. Tom Dumoulin... Do we get any information on him here? No, we don't. Um, is he somewhere, 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 somewhere? He's not in the top... F I haven't seen him. He's probably somewhere around the top 10, but this is the perfect stage for him. Ah, yeah, overall points standings. Here we have it. 61 points, and the sprinters won't be getting points today, so I may be able to win this, but Michael Matthews... Uh-oh. Ah, oh, yes. We get a plus one to bias. Yeah. Minus because of tiredness already, but uh, race day condition bias is plus one because of our recovery score. Yeah, some serious time trialers in here. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's get into it. Okay, here we are. Uh, finished top 50 in of the classification of the stage. Yeah, I think that's that's entirely possible. Because this is pretty steep, as you can see. This is some 9, 9 to 10%-ish slopes. Flattening out a little bit to the top. It's not far, though. But then essentially flat. But there's, there's this little kink towards the end, too. And now let's observe his, um, his run very quick. So that we can gauge how we have to uh, how to deal with the heart rates. Come on, there we go. Oh, ah, what? Why? There he is. Okay, now we can see it. So he is a time trial of 63 with a really bad race day <laughs> and no resistance. Uh, all right, so he's moving at 174 up here. 171. 168, he's dropping, okay. It's hard to see where he is, but he should be... Ah, no, it, it will change here. Uh, we can't follow him, of course, but uh, it will change here once he's across the line and on top of the mountain. Okay. So far, so generic. 167. 168, now he's accelerating and should be at the top very soon. Come on. What's going on? Oh, now. There. Wow. So it seems like they are using slightly more energy to get to the top, actually. And, uh... Wow. Now he's really, really moving and recuperating. Yeah, they are not riding optimally here. So that's all good. Uh, and in the flat he is... Oh, they just crossed. He's riding an average 172. Seems to be the the case, around ish. Yeah, 172 would be fine. 
Okay, that's all good to know. Uh, that should suffice for us to to roll. Um, probably want to get up the mountain at about 180 heart rate. And then um, save the rest for the flat. Oh, my colleagues have some serious issues with their race day conditions. A minus four, that's brutal. Look at his stats, he's basically dead. A corpse on a bike. <laughs> Crazy stuff, he's such nice stats otherwise. And they're completely destroyed. Alright, we are almost there. Oh, the usual suspects up there, although... Aru isn't good in time trial, is he? But Richie Port is, so uh, if we have to beat him, ooh, Max Max Soler as well. Oh, oh, wow, that's that was a good run. Um, but now Max Speck time. Come on, good race day condition today, please. A zero. Okay, a zero is not too terrible. It's not too terrible. We can deal with this. So we want to go up here at like eighty, I think. And then recuperate most of it in all of the downhill here. The best provisional time has just been beaten. Yeah, I think that will be pretty good overall. It will hurt to watch this yellow bar drain away like crazy, but uh, it is in the end hopefully worth it. We are halfway up there. And we still haven't lost all that much. It's flattening out slightly. But now let's... Wait, yeah, it's halfway only. And we will lose another half. So we would be on top with half of the yellow bar. Which is about right. Seems about right. Wow, not even half the bar. This is rough. There we go. Fastest time for Dicky McSpeck. Obviously. And let's the cross the line. So He's got to hang in there. Uh, let, let's check how many, how much time we got here. Chris Froome was as fast as we were. What the hell? Is he riding the same strategy? That is crazy. All right, now let's go at 60 or something. We need to get uh, this bar matched up with the other one as best as we can. Maybe 70... 70 is okay. Want to accelerate, or 75 even. Um, yeah, that will be rough if he's just as good as we are after having uh, we, us having wasted so much bar just to be up top there really fast. Um, okay, so 72 seems to be what we need to do for the rest-ish. Oh, shit. <laughs> Chris Froome is crushing everything. Wow, 32 seconds faster. And Dickie McSpeck, of course, had to uh, slow down significantly. Uh, he took 44 seconds on us in that downhill section. The reference time has been lowered by 29 seconds. And here comes Max Speck. Um, yeah, he won't lower the reference time, but he did pretty well. Now oh, I think we can up it to 75. There's this little uphill section coming. Uh, maybe even 80. We don't seem to be losing at all. Accelerate, Max Back. There we go. Perfect. Oh! Wow, we only lost a minute on Chris Froome. That is awesome. That's a really good outcome. He must have had, like, the craziest race day condition of his life. And, like, an 80 time trial or something. Because this was, this was ridiculous. Uh, Tom Dumoulin only made it what one minute seven and tom dumoulin 48 seconds well dicky mcspec did really well if he's coming that close to this guy <laughs> wow that's some stats yo what it's amazing i want to play that rider the bop junkie <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> for 80 flat are you kidding me 80 flat! 
He's better in the flat than in the mountains, and he's awesome in the mountains. That's saying something. Wow! And time trial and recovery like crazy. Woo! But yeah, that was a really good tour for us. And in general, we made it to second place. Oh, Dan Martin, where were you? Dan Martin? Where are you? I don't even see him. He's in here somewhere. I didn't find him. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a really nice outcome. Didn't quite beat Chris Froome, but second of all. And yes, we made it. <laughs> we made it. We won the sprinter jersey. Max Speck, the master sprinter. He uh, got the curry washed for that today. And uh, well, the mountain points not so much. Um, but young rider. Wow, 8 minutes and 14. And team, 53 minutes. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 71 points. Almost a level up. Just 11 points missing. Whoa. I think we get them in the next race. Because that's just one day away. But let's have a quick look at the schedule of what is to come. We will have our little break in here from there to there. We have these two classics as little preparation, and then the big classic. Liege Bastogne Liege. Oh, wow. Uh, I always wanted to race this with a competent rider, and Dicky McSpeck certainly is that. But his race day condition will de definitely determine the outcome. Because this race is 250 kilometers long, if I remember correctly, and hilly as fuck. So, yeah, it's not to be uh, trifled with. Anyway, that is something for next episode, and I hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time.